Island themes are fun, yet tricky. Sometimes we get sucked into focusing on only one or two theme ideas for a long period of time because they're comfortable and familiar. But after a while, everything just kind of gets boring. We end up basically designing the same island over and over again with minimal variation. Let's break away from this cycle by exploring five awesome islands designed around very different and unique themes that you might not have heard of before. And even if you have, it's still gonna be fun. Let's go! The extraterrestrial theme is out of this world! Sorry, sorry, I just had to do that. It was right there. It basically wrote itself. This theme encourages us to think beyond the constraints of Earth, which can pose a bit of a challenge since nearly all of the items we have access to are Earth-inspired, but that's what makes this theme idea a lot of fun. The creator of this island focused primarily on two item sets, the Mushroom set and the Glowing Moss set. When combined together, these items can create a really off-putting, uneasy feeling, which is a great way to evoke an experience like we're running around on a strange new world. One of the most impressive aspects of this island is how it features so many distinctly different biomes that are all centered around color themes. Throughout this area, we see purple flowers surrounding glowing purple pools all on top of that gloriously beautiful dark rocky ground. Then up this way, we find ourselves stepping into a whole new experience centered around my favorite color, blue. By focusing on specific color palettes for different areas, we end up with this feeling that we aren't just exploring an island, but an entire world. Another idea that is just brilliant is the use of gyroids, as though they're just kind of chilling at a council meeting discussing how to rid the planet of this new human infestation. This is the perfect theme for anyone who has ever asked themselves the question, is there life out there? You might be surprised by what you find. I found Celestial Garden Core. Tucked right in between the Elegant Core and Fairy Core constellations, this new theme has emerged as a fascinatingly beautiful idea to explore. What sets it apart is its strong emphasis on lights and the heavy use of the celestial items. Star fragments, Nova Lights, and Pisces Lamps are scattered everywhere which creates an ethereal feeling as we move around. The beaches in particular are a stellar example of how to balance the garden component of this theme with the colorful and bright celestial feeling lights that flow all the way along the shore. We can also observe a strong emphasis on symmetry, like this lovely music spot that's bursting with lights of different yellow hues, as well as in this large courtyard that has a gorgeous water code design that also looks like it's reflecting the night sky. This is an incredible theme for anyone who enjoys the core design elements of Fairy Core and Elegant Core, but who is also looking for a slight change that can lead to reimagined and even entirely new ideas for how to design and build your island. Post-apocalyptic core has sort of ebbed and flowed within the community over the last year or so, but it so often gets portrayed as this dark, dreary, and oftentimes pretty gruesome concept, which is awesome and probably says a lot about where many of us might think that we as humanity are heading, but what I like about this portrayal of the theme is that it's just a little bit happier and more peaceful feeling. We still have worn roads that have eroded away over time, and most everything feels rusted and dated and kind of run down, but we also have a colorful rooftop hot tub area. Like, what? It looks so good. Sure, there are desert ruins with strange alien creatures and abandoned skate parks covered in graffiti, but there are also bright and beautiful beach parties with lots of sweet treats and colorful balloons. One design element that is thrilling is the inclusion of so many little hidden nooks and crannies, pun intended, that encourage you to explore and see the island from different areas and newer perspectives. Literally every time I visit this DA, I continue to discover little rooftop areas and new alleyways that I hadn't seen before. This is a design idea that's just a lot of fun to play around with because these little hidden in plain sight areas help the island to feel more authentic. It does seem to be one of the more complicated themes featured in this video, but that makes it a noteworthy challenge for anyone who's been itching to push the boundaries of what you're able to do within the game. All 
Alright, so cards on the table. I don't really know how to categorize this island's theme because it feels and looks like an ancient world, but it's filled with ruins that look like they're from an even older time, and there are statues of gods and giants. It's a lot. And it's all incredible. This island's creator also expressed that they drew a lot of inspiration from Norse mythology, so if that's your thing, then this island and the theme woven through it Viking core, I suppose, are right up your alley. There's a fantastically destroyed feeling to the island because of all the ruins scattered around and the erupting volcano that seems to be inching closer and closer to the seaside village. Some areas even evoke a medieval vibe in the crumbling cobblestone roads littered with rusted swords thrown all about. It's easy to appreciate the amount of creative vision that went into cultivating this island and the complex way that it so beautifully conveys this lost-in-time experience. So much about what we see feels unique, and there are a lot of different design aspects that I haven't really seen before on other islands. Whatever the best description of this island theme might be is, I don't really know, but the different elements shown here are definitely worthy of further exploration within the community. This next island was built more so around a concept than a theme, but the end result is an experience that feels like so much more than just exploring another beautiful island. Here, we are encouraged to solve the murder of an island villager. There is a strong element of storytelling embedded throughout the island, which definitely requires a little more time and brain power to think of and implement, but for anyone who wants to create a more challenging experience in how you play the game, taking the time to come up with a story you want to tell or a mystery you want to solve can add a lot of additional avenues for you to express and explore your creative ideas and perspectives. This island's creator even went so far as to create fun character sheets for her villagers, and she came up with 25 clues that sort of guided how she went about making her island. By approaching the game from a storytelling perspective, we're able to create a more interactive way for others to enjoy and experience our islands. If you'd like to try your hand at solving the murder and learn more about how you might approach something like this, I've linked to the island's creator's Instagram account, <sighs> try saying that five times in a row, where you can access her clues and experience how something like this concept can work. I know that this game has been out for about two years now, and a lot of us who have been playing from the beginning are starting to feel burnt out and are struggling to find motivation to continue running around and playing, and that's why I really hope that these different island themes were able to reignite some excitement and get some ideas flowing that you're interested in exploring on your own islands. Let me know which theme you enjoyed learning about the most and what other themes you'd like me to explore in future videos. Until next time, bye!